On the one hand, I'd say there should be as many different types as possible because really LAS thrives on the people that are in there and on these people being different from each other and uh, on these people with interesting different biographies interacting with each other. So I think in that sense there should definitely be not one type but as many different types as possible. What you can see at UCF is that many people, even if they're not from all types of different countries, they have experience in many different countries. So a lot of people went abroad in high school or after high school. Um, most of them like to travel, like to experience new things. Um, a lot of them are very open-minded, very tolerant and very motivated to share that. And that's basically what LAS and problem-based learning is based on. Because if you don't have these people who are interested in everything, who want to know about so much more than they do at this certain point given, then the whole system doesn't work. You need food for discussions, you need fruitful discussions, and you need people who, who never want to stop discussing, because otherwise the whole system is kind of run down after a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, and you need a lot of inspiring people, I would say. People you want to spend time with, um, to learn from them and with them, and share your insights with their insights, to um, keep on learning basically. And in that sense there is a requirement because you, you have to be open to work with other people and to learn from other people and to be fascinated by what other people have to say and uh, interact with them and because that's what LAS is based on. First of all, I would say that future students of University College Freiburg should be open-minded towards anything that comes up. Um, certainly, they will have to get to know a lot of people, they have to be open-minded and tolerant to get to know people. Um, they also have to be open-minded towards a lot of work, um, a high workload, a lot of things to learn new, to experience, um, and yeah, basically um, to take the jump into the really cold water and then to learn to swim. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be potentially also some frustrations with things that are go, they don't go right, but in the end it's all one big learning experience and as long as you're open for that and as long as you try to learn from um, all these different uh, things that go on, I think uh, you will definitely take something from liberal arts and sciences. And I think another thing to add is that you really have to live it. It sounds so cliche to say that, but it's really, um, yeah, it's a different approach to studying than in other programs and you have to be in there a hundred percent to enjoy it. And if you, if you are in there so much, then you will have the best time um, studying and getting to know people and spending a lot of time at university. Um, but if you don't, then you should think about it, whether LAS really is the perfect and the right choice for you. In that sense, I'd say LAS is not so much of just a job or a study program, but it's, it's sort of a lifestyle that ends up permeating all of uh, the things that you do and all the discussions that you have inside, outside, uh, wherever around university. <laughs> so it, it will shape you.